What is this that I'm saying? Children of God, we need to stand for the people of the DRC. Because what I'm saying is like uh, people are fighting with the police. And this is the way it will start to start like the people are crushing with the police. And this is starting from the uh, Kinshasa. And then it will spread to the entire Congo. This is just the beginning of of this chaos. So we need to stand in the gap for the people of Congo. Telling France 24's Thomas Nicolon that eight people are dead, three police officers and five civilians. But the opposition told Thomas that dozens of civilians have been killed. And Thomas joins me now from Kinshasa. Thomas, what more can you tell us about today's violence? Well, uh, Earl, this morning, uh, the protests started to, uh, to erect barricades uh, all around the city, barricades in flame, uh, throwing rocks as well at uh, the police. The police had to uh, answer with tear gas, and, uh, and quickly it escalated, uh, and it was pretty tense and pretty violent. Uh, the, 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 last, um, the last thing the police told me, told me just a few minutes ago that eight people were killed. To, uh, three of them are uh, the lead officers. Two of them were burned alive. Uh, four looters were killed as well, and one protector. I'm not sure if we're still uh, if we still got that connection to Thomas, but uh, this march uh, that was cancelled today, there was meant to be a march on the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. It was cancelled because of the violence, but I imagine the opposition isn't going to leave it at that. Absolutely, the opposition, the 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 part of the opposition that organised this march, uh, they waiting. The, the electoral commission, according to the constitution, is supposed to date set a date for the presidential election, but it did not happen. That's the opposition to march uh, to bring memo to the electoral commission, and uh, they they told me the opposition leaders told me that uh, police stopped them today. The government stopped them, but they going to give up, and tomorrow will be in the streets of Kinshasa again because they want Joseph Kabila to leave power by the 19th of December.